Peace, good morning. I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of the Five Player Land. As always, I'm your Five Player. Wanted to do a quick recap of the fight last night between Maurice Hooker and Virgil Ortiz. Um, and Virgil Ortiz's uh, subsequent uh, call out of Terrence Bud Crawford after uh, winning said fight. Um, the fight was actually uh, action-packed. It was really good. Probably the best fight I've seen this year. Um, off the top of my head. Um, and, I mean, it's probably the most, uh, you know, that I got up for a fight. And I still watch this fight in the aftermath. I, I found it on YouTube. And I watched it like that. It wasn't like I, you know stopped what I was doing to uh, watch that fight. And it's not because the fight was whack. It's because boxing is whack. But um, moving on. Um, tactically, uh, I think um, Virgil Ortiz added a little bit to his arsenal. Some people may not think so, but uh, Virgil Ortiz had the ability to get hit a lot more than what he did last night. Like, And he was still getting hit a lot. So, I mean, um, he's st- he got to improve upon that. But um, Maurice Hooker, he's no joke. Um, him losing to um, homeboy, um, the other top-ranked dude, I forget his name, at 140. You know, it's more because the other top-ranked dude is, uh, you know, that's a good fight. I mean, he's a great fighter at 140. Um, and it's not because Maurice Hooker is a bum. But... Um, I give Maurice Hooker a lot of credit before this fight and, you know, um, him losing in this fight means uh, little for my respect for him as far as, like, losing respect. He did really well. A lot of people were saying that he faked an injury at the end. I mean, um, shit. Like, I mean, if, you, if you're getting uh, hurt like that and then you catch, catch one to the body, I mean... Um, some of you guys might fake fake an injury if I smack the shit out of you. So I mean, like you know, I give you know, getting hurt, hurt to the body like that, you know, um, you can't really uh, blame him, I guess. But um, he, uh, Maurice Hooker, had a nice jab like he always does. He fights long. Um, he wasn't trying to fight inside, which I wasn't blaming him. I mean, like you know, uh, I think that was a, a better option. I think he could have like been. A little bit more um, adding to his jab and moving away from Virgil Ortiz to give himself a better chance, but he still did well. Um, that moron that scores fights on um, the zone uh, was bugging. I mean, I thought I thought Maurice Hooker won like two rounds, maybe, but um, still great fight, man. Like, I mean, um, just trying to make sure how much time I have because it says I only have six minutes and twenty seconds worth of video that I can. But, you know, um, all the props in the world to Maurice, you know, uh, and hopefully you get other big fights uh, in the aftermath. But, you know, Virgil Ortiz uh, also uh, made a point of calling out Terrence Bud Crawford, calling him the pound-for-pound best fighter in the world, number one or number two, which I agree with that assessment. I think he's number one. Um, And uh, Virgil Ortiz was uh, ringside for the fight. I mean, uh... Bud Crawford was ringside for the fight, which, uh, you know, you like to see. I mean, I like to see that from Virgil Ortiz, and I also like to see that from um, Bud Crawford. I mean, uh, Virgil Ortiz losing to Bud Crawford, it's not going to mean much for his career um, because at that time, like, when 147 gets popping with this new crap crop of uh, good fighters that are coming up, through the ranks, um, all these other whack ass 147 pounders like Errol Spence, Bud Crawford too. I mean, I gotta put him in the fray. Um, Danny, you know, they're all gonna be out of the division, and that's what you want to see. I mean, like, I rather this new crop, you know, come up and start a new, like, you know, like I, then maybe um, I'll be interested in uh, welter like the welter waiting division. But um, you know, so when. If uh, if he loses to Bud Crawford now and Bud Crawford bounces 
and moves up to 154 and then this new crop is at 147 um you know they they gotta get like it's not like bud crawford is gonna make the rounds on ramirez and i think he you know he may have like one or two fights maybe like left at 147 um if errol spence keeps being a little bitch um and avoiding him you know maybe he fights ramirez and uh virgil ortiz so uh you know hopefully like you know these cats like give us these super fights down the line like regis and uh taylor um virgil you know they're a way better crop than than the the garbage that uh that i see uh in the division now and it sucks for uh jerron ennis because jerron ennis is super talented but the games that like the pbc is playing against um everybody else in boxing um who's not on pbc at welterweight um you know bob who's another piece of shit is gonna be doing that like to that crop of fighters i mean or um to um jerron ennis and i don't, I don't want to hear no shit like when that does happen like um like these sob stories, as sad as it is.